It is f***ing hot. Hello, I'm Johnny here and welcome back to another video. And at today's video, I'm going to be bringing you lot a q and I asked you lot over my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, go follow it right there. We're now verified. Yeah, we're closing on 200k. So make sure you go follow me and get me to 200k. But yeah, I asked you lot over on Instagram to ask me some questions for this Q&A. The reason I'm doing a Q&A is because one, you lot like the sit-down videos and like where you get to know me a bit more. And two, it is absolutely baking. And not gonna lie to you, I don't really feel like filming a proper full-on skip video in this heat. I'll just be honest with you, like, it, it's disgusting, it, it's, it's muggy. Nevertheless, before we get this video, let's see if we can smash 30,000 likes. That'd be much appreciated. Go down below and smash the like button right now for 10 years of good luck. If you want that good luck, yeah, I've jinxed it now, so you've got to like it. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Right, we've got 3,334 comments as of now. So obviously I can't answer all of them, but I'll go from the top and then scroll down because you lot have liked the most popular. Also, if your question doesn't get answered but you was one of the top, it's probably because I've answered it before in another Q&A. So yeah, just go watch the other Q&A, otherwise I'm just going to repeat it myself, do you know what I mean? The first question comes from King Kenny TV. Why are you so shit at Warzone? Listen, bro, I don't know who he's trying to chat to. Kenny has nothing on me. I don't know if you know Kenny, but he's another YouTuber, but we play Warzone together. Listen, whenever there's beef, and Kenny knows this himself, yeah? Whenever there's beef, he's off looting somewhere else. Me and my other pals will be dying in a gunfight, and Kenny's like about 200 meters away going, sorry, what's happening? Oh, I was just getting loot. He's a pussy. He, that's what he is. He's a pussy on Warzone. Bruh, when we drop in every single time, yeah, when we drop in, say we're dropping on a marker, we say, okay, land here. Say we're going to Storage Town. Land this side of storage now. Where's he f***ing go? I just go to the other side by the fire station. Like, in there, he just cares about himself. He's a f***ing shit player. He's always last alive because he's never in gunfights. So that's my reply to you, Ken. You're shit at Warzone. I'm not shit. How tall are you? Now, I've done that to his answer before. It probably has, but I'm 5 foot 10. Yeah? We're not small, but we're not tall. We're the UK average. Wait, actually, let me just check what the UK average is. 5 foot 9? Hey, I'm above average, bro. Come on, yeah, I'm not average height. I'm tall, bro. I'm tall. Five foot ten. <laughs> Look at you midgets out there, bruv. Under five foot nine. What, you're under average? Get on my level, I'm a giant. <laughs> Next question. Are you still with Olivia? Now, unless you don't know something I don't, um, to my knowledge, we're still together. The reason that she's not here, or she hasn't been in videos or anything like that, is because she went to her mum's at the start of lockdown, just so she could spend lockdown with her family and that, innit? That's, that's basically the main reason. But no, we're still together. It's just... Currently, she's not living here. But cheers, mate, you've given me a title now. Where did you go on your first lads holiday? Do you know what? I actually haven't been on a lads only holiday. Purely because I've always had birds. That's, that's, that's literally it. And obviously me being respectful, I'm not gonna go on holiday if I've got a bird. Because, especially if it's a shaggers holiday. It'd be different if I was going like on a raven holiday, like Ibiza, or like I've been to Hideout Festival. But if you're going like Magaluf and like Malia and all them like shaggers holiday countries, it just like, yeah, just, I, w I just wouldn't go because obviously like, you go there to beat girls, that's literally it. But technically the first like lads kind of holiday I went on was Ibiza when I was like, just turned 18 for my 18th birthday, went there. But we didn't go proper raving, like we didn't go into the clubs, we kind of like, um, like we went there as like a kind of family, like not not family, but like it was me and all my close mates and their mums as well. So it was like my birthday was our beefer as a holiday. But at the same time, we was going on like the strip and like even though a lot of them were 17, even 16, I was 18. Like it was, that was kind of like my first lads holiday, but not really. But I'd say my first proper proper like lads holiday, even though it wasn't just all, all the lads I was about to say, or oh, kill me. It wasn't just all boys. It was like. 12 boys and like four of our girlfriends in it basically like all, all close anyway whatever but the first like proper sick one yeah that i done was last year hideout festival oh my god that that place i think that's what heaven is i actually think that's what heaven is hideout festival in croatia now if you know me i go on about it quite a lot but i don't really like clubbing i don't really like going like nightclubs or like i'm not all into that mali i like going strip like all that game uh, i prefer raving i got house raves and that so hideout festival if you like raving, yeah, Hideout is the gaff. I'm telling you now, what a, I saw some of you that out there as well. But yeah, no, Hideout, Hideout, that's, that's, that's one of the best holidays I've ever done. What was your first fight experience like? Cool, I think I broke the geezer's jaw. Now, do you know what? I've never had a proper fight. I've never had like a full on fight. I've banged someone in the face, but I've never had like a proper full on like fist fight ever. Now, when I banged someone in the face, I think I was like 12. 
and like me and my pal Mason, we was in this little like park, like wood chip park type swing things, whatever. And um, this weird little annoying fat kid and his mate kept chucking wood chips at us for some reason. I don't know why, just trying to be annoying, yeah? Whatever. Obviously, my mate Mason has a short temper, so we told him to stop. Whatever, jumped down, whatever, gripped him up. Mason punched him a couple of times and then put him up against the fence and I banged him. But never really like had like a full on fight. The boy didn't retaliate. But the reason I haven't had a fight is generally because I don't get wound up easily. Like it takes me a lot for me to want to hit you. Like a lot. Like the way my friendship group is, my friendship group, yeah, the way we talk to each other and our humour is so dark and so horrible and disgusting. Like if I got overheard being my normal, like I I'm not even like my true, true self on YouTube because I can't be. Do you know what I mean? Around my friends, like our humour and our like, the way we talk to each other is actually disgusting. Like it's actually fucking like horrible. Like we all make jokes about each other's mums. Like there's no boundaries. Like like my mate would be on like just got off the phone to his mum. Who was like you're fucking whore, what you shagging her? And he'll himself will say yeah she's a fucking slut in it. Like we have no boundaries. Like someone dies. Well I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. But like our our humour is so like horrible. Like my friends are group has no boundaries. We insult each other. Our banter is actually horrible. Like, I, I've, I've had it before where a kind of new person comes in the group, like at a festival or a rave or something like that, and is actually shocked at how like rude we are to each other and how many boundaries we actually fuck off. That's why I think I haven't had a fight. Because I feel like you would have to say something to me really, really bad, yeah, to make me actually want to hit you. I think if you put your hands on me, then I'd fucking hit you. But it takes me a lot to get wound up because my friendship group is constantly just insulting each other in the worst way possible, like terrible. Like if you haven't got thick skin in my friendship group, then you're gonna crumble. That's basically what it is. If you could meet any person, dead or alive, who would you meet? Um, now the first thing that comes to my head when you say this is a musician because I'm gonna remix the question and take is if you could see anyone dead and alive, who would you meet? Because obviously, dead or alive, we're probably gonna talk family members, innit? <laughs> If I could see someone dead or alive, I'd see Bob Marley. I swear to God, reggae is like my favourite genre of music, without a doubt. My mum and dad listen to bare reggae, innit? So it's always been like in my family, do you know what I mean? Fucking outside on a speaker, John Holt, Junior Marvin, Bob Marley, like bare old school reggae artists. Scariest experience. Um, oh, 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 this one's, this one, this one's deep, bruv. This one's weird. This happened recently as well, so this is this is like <laughs> very current. But the other day, I was on a bike ride. Like I said, I've been going bike ride recently, riding about. And basically, I usually go on a bike ride when it's like sunset, so it's just nicer in it. But obviously, when sunset, it's night time and it gets dark. So yeah, by the time I'm riding home, it's usually dark. So I'm riding home now, and uh, basically, there's two ways to get back to my house from where I was. You can go the normal way on the main road, or there's this shortcut for an alleyway. So I thought, cool, it's dark now, yeah, let's just go through there, it's just quicker, innit, do you know what I mean? So I'm riding down there, riding, 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 can barely see a thing, and next thing I know, some geezers stood in front of me, like, stopped my bike, like that. So I'm like, old, weird geezer, I won't say old, I've got like 50, 60, but, yeah, basically stopped in front of my bike. So I've obviously gone, bro, what are you doing? Like, move out the fucking way, like, why are, you, why are you standing in front of the bike? He's only gone, will you suck me off for a multi-pack of Kinder Buenos? Yeah, suck him off. For a multi pack of Kinder Buenos. I mean, who do you think I am? What sort of person would suck a Ram Geezer off for Kinder Buenos? I don't even like Kinder Buenos, do you know what I mean? So obviously, I've just rolled on and thought, what the f was that about? It's a bit scary, innit? But, I don't know. Some tap people around here, I swear to God. Would you ever start a podcast? You know what? I always think about this. I've always started about. I've always thought about starting a podcast because I do feel like I'm very opinionated and I'm not the type of person that will just agree with what everyone's saying. Like, like I hate when you see podcasts and they just like do the moral thing. And that sounds terrible, but they just say what's morally correct. Like, have an opinion. Have a fucking opinion. Like, your opinion. Don't just care what people are going to think. But yeah, if you want to see that, I suppose I could think about doing a podcast in future on my second channel or something. I don't know. If you would want to see a podcast, let me know, I'm definitely open to doing that. Obviously right now it's not really a possibility because of lockdown and stuff and I currently get Seth set up and want to do it properly. But yeah, why not? <laughs> I'd like to do a podcast. What's the most embarrassing moment you can remember? Well there's this one time, yeah, I was fingering this bird and she shit down my arm. <laughs> what are you doing during this lockdown apart from videos? Now recently, as you not know, my mental health ain't been the best and it is Mental Health Awareness Week. So no, it was. 
last week, or so I don't know, I've lost track of, and I've lost my bearings to be honest, I've lost track of time and everything in this lockdown, so, but recently, it's Mental Health Awareness Day or week or something like that, so I thought I'd delve in to a bit of my personal life, I don't usually do this, I don't usually go on about my, my mental health, but I'm just speaking so in case someone's relating to me and it can kind of make them feel not alone. So basically, none of you will know this because I've never mentioned it before, but I suffer with bad OCD and intrusive thoughts. Now, I know what you're thinking if you don't know what OCD is. What? You have to clean your room? What things have to be neat? No. OCD is like a repetition in your head or like it won't, intrusive thoughts won't let you forget about a thought and they make you feel guilty for certain stuff. Like, I'm not going to go into detail. If you want to look it up, look it up. I don't really feel comfortable talking about it, to be honest. But yeah, if you are suffering with something like that, I was doing intrusive thoughts where you can't control your thoughts and shit like that and it's getting worse in lockdown and like you have this one thought in your head and the harder you try to get rid of it the more it suffocates and takes up your whole entire brain where you can't even think because all you're thinking about is the guilt and the horrible thought that you just can't get out your head just know that you're not alone in it you're really not alone because I remember for years and I've had this all my life these f***ing, not voices in my head but like these thoughts in my head like horrible thoughts like things I don't want to think about and I can't let go of them or picking apart little things, or like just like repetition on like fucking closing a door handle and shit like that. Like, I deal with it because I've had it all my life, but it was only up until I'd say about two years ago when I, f I found out someone else had the same thing as me, and then ever since then, I literally just like realized so many people have this issue. And I know there's some people watching this right now, and you probably have OCD and intrusive thoughts, but you don't even know what it is, and you'll realize you're not insane, you're not alone. And when you feel like there's more people with what you've got, ah, oh, bruv, it, it makes you feel so much better. But yeah, to answer the question, what have I been doing in lockdown? Um, not much really, apart from making videos. I've been playing Warzone a lot, a lot, because there's nothing else to do. But when it's sunny, uh, I just bought myself a brand new bike. We're going on bare bike rides. I haven't really got much to work out with. I just bought these the other day because you can't get dumbbells anywhere. They're too dear. They're charging like 200 pounds for a pair of dumbbells. Are you mad? So I've got these, they're just wires. I'll probably show you a video of me using in a minute. Uh, yeah, so just doing that, going on bike rides. Basically just healthy stuff. For example, I know PlayStation doesn't seem healthy, but being active and socialising with your mates. That's basically it, because it's PlayStation, you're socialising. Bike riding, go on runs, uh, work out. Just keep your mind healthy. Don't just sit in your room on your phone. Ops on Boris Johnson. He gets a lot of stick, a lot of stick in the media and all over social media and that. But to be honest, like, put aside everything, but he's under a lot of stress. He's just had a kid. Like, I, I don't, I don't think it's right or appreciate when people fucking, like, when he got, when he got corona, when people were saying, I hope he dies and that, and like fucking saying, yeah, good, he deserves it. Are you sure? Bruv, you're tapped if you think like he deserves to get that because he's, he has different political views than you. Like me personally, I don't really involve myself in politics because just, fuck, I just, I, that's just draining. I don't really, like, I'm not gonna lie, people probably have an opinion on that. Oh, why don't you? Like, I, I didn't vote, <laughs> to be honest. Like, why didn't you vote? You're the reason that the. Just, I, just, I don't know. I just don't get involved in politics, to be honest. But opinion as what he's doing right now. Like, bruv, he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Like, no one since Winston Churchill, and obviously World War II was a lot worse than this. I'm saying, no one since Win uh, World War Winston Churchill has had this kind of pressure to fix a country, kind of the world in a sense. Like, he's running what's going on. Like, I know it's not all just him, it's his team, but like, bruv, he's got a lot of pressure. He's just had a fucking kid. He's just come out of the hospital with coronavirus, cutting some slack, bruv. Honestly, all he gets is stick on social media. Like, our generation have so many mouths because you can just sit behind a screen. That's, that's literally it. There's no respect anymore for anyone. But yeah, no, I respect him. I respect him, simple. I don't care if there's an opinion. If you think I'm wrong for saying that, because he's got the whole f***ing country on his shoulders. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, you could say, but it's his job. He's meant to do that. I think he won't sign up for this. Do you know what I mean? He didn't sign up for this. I know technically he did, but do you know what I mean? Cut the geezer some slack. All I see is him getting hate on social media, bro. Chill, man. Don't get me wrong, he's a bit of a din though, isn't he? But, yeah, do you know what I mean? Just cutting some slack, bro, honestly. Is it hard being a YouTuber and what are the downfalls of being one, like the inconveniences of the job? This is a good question because YouTube is seen out to be like some glorified, like amazing, easy, piss easy way to make money. And everyone who does it is so lucky. Don't get me wrong, I'm very blessed and very grateful for my position. I, like, I'm not saying that at all. But, I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of YouTubers have mental health issues because of the job. My mental health is definitely got worse because of this job. The amount of stress and pressure and like everything to perform on YouTube 
is a joke because if you don't perform and you don't continue to perform and do well and do your best and beat your last numbers, someone's gonna overtake you. That's the way it works. All YouTube is, yeah, is trying to stay relevant. That's literally it. From day one, from day dot when you get one subscriber, you're trying to stay relevant. That's literally it. So that's why I think it's so bad for mental health because, yeah, even though it's not loads of manual labor, like it's not loads of hours a week, creatively, it's fucking hard, man. It's a bollock cake. It is, it is. It's, it is bare hard, bruv. I've got to think of a new video, and not just me, obviously, but I've got to think of a new video, new jokes, new skits, new things every week, and I've been doing it for the past four years. Like, bruv, one day I panic, I'm going to run out. And like, thankfully, I haven't so far, and I can always manage to like think of something new, but like, it's stressful, man, and especially like when your channel goes through a stage of banging, which everyone's channel does. Every single person on this platform, their channel has gone through a sp spike of banging, whether that's for a month, a week, a year. I remember like last summer, my channel was popping, proper popping, and I have no reason for it. I don't know why it was. It's not that the videos we're putting out were like banger, bangers, like types of people on the bus. That's like a normal video I do now. But it's just like the algorithm and, and shit and like, like it, it, it's, it's terrible for you anyway, I'm not gonna lie. And obviously now, my videos are doing average. They ain't doing the best. Like YouTube's so up and down. I think I've been up and down on YouTube so many times that I've just got to the point now where you just gotta accept that like, you're not always gonna be banging. Like even fucking Mr. Beast. I mean, I don't watch him, but, but even though he's getting millions of views, I bet there was one point where he was getting more, and he probably looks at it like, oh, bruv, like, I'm not getting as what as I used to. Like, it's depressing. I know YouTubers personally that are popping more than me, and they're depressed because they're thinking, oh, my channel's not what it used to be. I'm, I'm not doing as good. Bruv, have you seen your numbers? Like, I know these YouTubers personally, and their numbers are better than mine, but they're getting, like, upset at their numbers because their numbers ain't what they used to be. Like, it's all a numbers game. It's, like, it f***s with you, man. Anyways, that's in the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please have a like if you did. Let's see if we can smash 30,000 likes. This is just like a personal q and I always film Q&As and don't know if they're like good enough, but I'm hoping you not just appreciate me just answering questions about my life. I'm sure that's just what you want to know. But yeah, let me know some video ideas that you want me to do because obviously lockdown is uh, demotivating me a bit and it's making me like uh, not be as creative at the moment. So yeah, comment down below so many video ideas you want me to do. Subscribe today to join the Kezra Army and uh, yeah, goodbye. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me, it's your loss. They